direction. I did. There's a reason why now I'm hanging out in a section where we're talking about birds because I do not want to run away anytime soon. But I might though because this fella, this fella got excited. There's so many kids out here today. And Greg, what is this? This is a falcon. This is a peregrine falcon. Okay. These are the fastest animals on earth. She is. We're with Gold Country Wildlife Rescue. We rescue, rehabilitate, yes. and release wildlife back to the wild. Uh, we do almost 3,500 animals. She is a non-releasable ambassador. Okay. okay. Oh. And she's a little nervous. I might be running sometime soon. <laughs> okay, so, so the neat thing about these guys okay. is we're very lucky to see them because back in the 70s, they were almost extinct. Oh. So they, they were uh, a problem with DDT, which is a pesticide. Mm -hmm. And uh, once it was outlawed through captive breeding programs and reintroduction, They've come back from the brink, and they're now considered a species of least concern. Wow, that's so cool. So this is one of the many things that kids are learning so much about over here. And I met this lovely lady, Daisy. Where would she go? Oh, she's right over here, safe. We're right behind you because she built a birdhouse earlier. That, again, just one of the many things that you can come out and do here at the Roseville Utility Exploration Center. So tell us, what are you going to do with this birdhouse now? We're going to hang it up. Yeah? And yeah. put some food inside? Yeah. Okay, and what about the water? We're going to leave some water out for yeah. the birds. Okay, all right. Well, perfect. And are you having some fun? Yes. Okay, would you recommend other kiddos to come out here with their families? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, take it from her. I'm excited to join this crew as well. And Desiree, you don't, don't run away from me because we are actually going to take you guys to the bug area now so safe if you can get around <laughs> if that's okay tina this one is special for you we know that you love beekeeping and you're a great beekeeper yes. well they have bees out here today and they're teaching kids all about that so oh, that's good. what we're walking towards right now um i know that you invited me to go out there and join you um yeah. but i'm gonna get some practice here first so when i go out there i know what to do so safe Oh, now he's on the hissing cockroaches. See, this is exactly oh, what boy. I was running away from. But safe, come over here. I don't want to look at that anymore. I want the bees. I, I want is, the bees. What is a I cannot be near any like? of that. Well, here it is. Okay, all right. Oh, so you're gonna actually Desiree, do it. Okay, here we, we go. We have the bees out here today as well. Why is this? So we have bees, which are fantastic pollinators, mm -hmm. um, which are very important to our environment. So everything here at Bird and Bug Bonanza is talking about our ecosystem and the stormwater that flows down the drain that goes right to our creeks and does not get cleaned yeah. and has a huge impact on our environment. Yeah. So we're trying to teach people how to do things at home that can help keep our creeks and streams clean in a fun way by showing birds and bugs, having fun games, activities. Yeah. So we have the master beekeepers here to, to, to talk about bugs and bees to people. Yeah. And just have a great time. Have a great time. Well, there you have it. A great time. And honestly, for free. So the family can come out here and enjoy so many activities and learn so much. But ladies, I'm going to toss it back to you because Tina, I got to become an expert before I join you out there. Okay. All right. Deal. Deal. Thank you.